thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing this gorgeous spread. First of all, yeah, we got to talk about Houston Restaurant Weeks. If you're from the area, you've likely heard about it. Maybe you want to check it out. Tell us about this campaign. So the event started uh, by Cleverly Stone in 2003, and, and really the idea behind it was to, for Cleverly, was to help restaurants and then obviously create donations mm -hmm. to help the Houston Food Bank. And over the years, it went, it started with 14 restaurants, and I think this year we've had a record of 417 restaurants. So the idea is just to help restaurants, you know, August being the slowest month of the year, mm -hmm. to drive some business into the restaurants and all, all, also do good and donate to the Houston Food Bank. So this year, because of the summer, the tornado, the hurricane, right. and just the economy in general, the restaurants have really struggled in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as the foundation decided to sort of extend the restaurant weeks, lower the donation, and really give the restaurants the opportunity to sort of build that business back up. So we decided to extend it this year into the month of September and give everybody a chance to go out. And you know, the, the extension is really for the restaurants more mm -hmm. so than for the food bank and the donation. So, you know, go out there, you know, try all the restaurants you can and, and help the restaurant industry yeah. in general. So well it's a great cause and as we know here in Houston, what a scene for foodies and for wonderful cuisine. And you know all about this, Chef. I know a little bit about it. Yeah, you do. Tell us about your restaurant if you haven't heard about it. Just well, fantastic. So Annabelle Brasserie is a uh, is a, a semi-traditional French brasserie. Um, we brought some great signature dishes that we're offering for restaurant week. Annabelle Brasserie has incredible food. I'm eyeing the creme, the creme brulee right there. Tell I us. I just torched it for you. Oh, it looks fantastic. Fill us in. Show us what you brought and what are some things that, that folks can experience if they check you okay, out. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. This is our deviled eggs with a caviar -y caviar on top. This is our Beautiful. traditional steak tartare with some crostinis and a little frisée salad. Okay. Then we go with the beef bor bourguignon short rib. And this is our chicken with truffled celery -ac and chicken au jus. This is uh, salmon with lentils, a little neggy onions, and pickled Fresnos on top. And then, as you mentioned, cream brulee. Oh, yes. And then this is our uh, parfait, our cr uh, cream fresh parfait with uh, blueberry compote. Now, Chef, you've got to have a favorite. Which one's your favorite? That one. That one. Oh, the beef organ. That's the one I can smell. It wrong. smells you, amazing. You can't go wrong with it whenever it's done right. I'm trying to figure out which one I can eat without getting it all down the front of me real quick. I think I'm going to go for this real quickly. I'll save you some, Kathy. Okay. <laughs> this looks just incredible. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'll just be here eating. Let's talk about how Houston Restaurant Weeks, how this benefits the community. So uh, every dollar that's donated to the Houston wow. Food Bank, uh, the Houston Food Bank has the ability to turn it into three meals, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but in, in addition to that, I think it really helps the city itself because obviously it helps the restaurants, it helps a lot of the vendors. And you know, you gotta think beyond that because a lot of people use month of August to go out and celebrate. Mm -hmm. Some people postpone their birthdays from July to celebrate in August. Some people do it earlier from September. So, you know, people wanna go out and dine. So what do you do? You go get dressed up, you go to the hairdresser, you do, you know, get buy new clothes. So, you know, just that dining out process really mm -hmm. helps the economy as a whole in the month of August. And, and it's crazy because it all started with one week years ago mm -hmm. and uh, to support restaurants and it's really evolved into something huge over the years. It's mm -hmm. one of the largest fundraisers in the country right now for uh, as far as the, the food bank goes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does a lot for the city and I think the extension will also help the restaurants sort of recover a little bit from the yeah. month of July and June. So uh, it's a win-win uh, all the way around. So. And Chef, why would you encourage folks to come out and check it out? Just to come try new restaurants. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get an awesome deal right now. Um, I mean, we always need the support. Right. You know, so I mean, the business is tough. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're feeding a lot of you're feeding a lot of other mouths than just yours whenever you come in and eat. Absolutely. So, you well, know, from the food bank to the employees there and everything else. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, full circle. Annabelle Brasserie, incredible food. We are going to dig into this. Thank you, Chef, for Absolutely. coming in, chatting with us. Arthur Moradian, thank you so much you. for coming in. And, of course, you can find all this information, a replay of this segment online at clicktohouston.com after the newscast. It'll be under our community section of the website. Stay